What is Kevin LePage known for? I'm looking on racing reference and I really don't see anything that jumps out. I mean, he got two Xfinity career wins, but other than that, it's really nothing there. I remember him most in the 57 CLR car from playing NASCAR Thunder 2004 so much and putting him multiple laps down in that game. I don't think it's really anything else there about him. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, this is what he's known for. The time where he came back up in front of the field and destroyed everyone, AKA LePage in the field. Probably one of the dumbest things that's been done in NASCAR. It's gotta be embarrassing that this is what you're known for if you're a race car driver. How do you screw up this badly? Well, let's set the scene. In 2008, the NASCAR Nationwide Series, called at the time, headed to Talladega Super Speedway on a cloudy spring day. You had a ton of heavy hitters in the field like Dylan Hart Jr., Kyle Busch, Denny Hamlin, Carl Edwards, and Tony Stewart, just to name a few. And then promising series regulars like uh, Brad Keselowski and that's it. The race was pretty calm for the most part. The theme of the day was drivers blowing tires. That's what caused most of the yellows throughout the race. Shortly after the halfway point, a caution happened for David Reagan. After the restart, everyone is trying to set themselves up because the race was getting down to the wire. Here's everyone just going on about their business and then out of nowhere, a big ass wreck happens. That's Mike Wallace in the seven car, Stephen Wallace in the 66, and David Strummy in another car owned by Rusty. Oh, we got a spin. Oh, it's it's a tap from Wallace. Wreck, right behind you. Oh, the big one in turn one, heavy contact. Cars in the wall. Stephen Wallace heavily damaged. There comes Kyle Chrysoloff down. David Rudiman involved. Oh, heavy damage on Stephen Wallace's uh, Chevy. He was having such a great run. And Kyle Busch has damage on the right front of his Toyota. Kyle Busch continues to have problems finishing this race. He tried a different strategy, but he's still he caught up in this race. From the onboard shot, nobody knows what the hell just happened. You just start seeing cars scatter everywhere. You probably thinking someone made a dumb block or a push gone wrong. That wasn't the case. Look at what the hell just happened. A yellow and pink car just comes up onto the track like everything was all good and causes a multi-car accident. Nothing happened to his car, he just moved up. Yeah, I guess it totally makes sense to move up even though it's a big ass pack of cars coming up on you. How do you screw up this bad? Once drivers saw the replay of what happened, I'm sure they was asking the same thing. Nah, LePage, this ain't a video game, bro. A lot of us are guilty of doing this on NASCAR games, but it's usually intentional just to mess around. Shit, at least he didn't take it further like turning around and going backwards to crash the damn field. Thankfully, everyone was all right. The person that made contact with LePage was Carl Edwards, and you could tell he held back in his interview, which I don't understand why. To quote Ward Burton, I would have had some choice words for him. Carr had a clear view of what happened and had a calm response afterwards. I asked once again, how do you screw up this bad? Kevin LePage was 46 years old when this happened, by the way. It's not like he was a 80 year old driver that has severe vision issues. Okay, so this was a major fuck up. You would think after causing something like this, the driver would, without a doubt, take responsibility. You would think that. No, this dude doesn't take responsibility. He doubles down and blames all the driver spotters. I'm not joking. Just listen to this dude. What happened? Well, it all started when we had a loose wheel and I came down Pear Road and uh, as I was leaving Pear Road, uh, the spotter says the pack's coming, so uh, I stayed down. Till I got in turn one and get up on the racetrack and the first half a dozen cars or so passed me and next thing you know I got rear-ended so uh, you know everybody's mad at me for pulling up on the racetrack but you go to the driver's meeting they said stay uh stay low till you get in turn one pull up on the racetrack and uh, like I said the first half a dozen cars got by me without any problem so um, you know my spar has been spotting for me for a number of years and I think uh, uh, they did she did a great job and um, you know I was down low had my matter of fact left side is lower than the apron and um, you know, there's 40 other guys up there trying to spot these things, and uh, they couldn't see me coming out of the pits with this red and yellow race car. Uh, then maybe they need to get new spotters. You got to be fucking kidding me. Okay, so you just cost tons of teams millions of dollars, and drivers are lucky to come away from that wreck not seriously injured. Everyone's obviously pissed at you, and you decided to say it was everyone's else's fault? Kevin LePage did nothing wrong, everyone. Wow. 
you had a chance to make yourself look less foolish and probably take a little bit of heat off of you but you screw that up you would think years down the road his opinion would change about the incident but it still hasn't he did an interview on the scene vault podcast and he still thinks he isn't at fault which baffles me and everyone else lepage in the field will always be a saying and this is what kevin lepage will forever be known for this dude could have won a championship in one of the top three divisions after this but lepage in the field would have still overshadowed that I don't like Kevin LePage for simply not admitting that it was his fault. You just come off as ignorant. If he just would have taken responsibility, a lot of people, myself included, wouldn't have a dislike for him. Will we still clown him for the incident? You're damn right. But at least people wouldn't be looking at him sideways for blaming others when he's clearly the one that caused it. Damn, I mean, if he just would have came out and said, my bad, I screwed up badly, everyone, I would have been cool with that. But that's not what he did. Well, that was interesting and kind of frustrating looking back on. What are y'all thoughts on the Kevin LePage incident? Do you actually side with Kevin LePage that it was on the drivers and spotters fault for that incident? Man, I better not see anybody take that side. But with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and roll up out of here. Y'all have a good one. Peace.